This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Gamefly. That's right, we got another sponsor. Gamefly has over 8,000 new releases of classes available for pretty much every single console available. This is basically the best deal if you're a gamer on a budget. For a, a low monthly fee, they will send you a game basically to rent, and then when you're done playing it, you send it back and they'll send you another one, whatever's on your list. And there's never any late fees as long as you're obviously paying for the service. So it works out pretty great. You can also get Blu-rays and DVDs on there as well. So I would highly recommend it if you play one game at a time. And I think they also have other types of deals where you can get more than one at a time. So it's pretty sweet. And if you go to GameflyOffer.com forward slash be then BTI, you will get a free 30 day trial. So it's pretty sweet. You get to try it for free. So once again, it's a GameflyOffer.com forward slash be then BTI. And now on with the show. Hey, what's up, folks? It's your boy, Blue here for the Before the Cast. We're back. What up? Well, Proud of you back in here, too. Uh, Been a while. Yeah, man. Got a police about to roll by. Yep, yep. Bright lights. Trying to stop this dankness, but they can't. Exactly. Can't stop. Won't stop. We ready uh, We ready to have a fire-ass cast tonight, man. Yeah, fucking here comes the come fire truck. Damn, there must be something big happening. Yeah. Um, Same as episode. Same yeah. fire. <laughs> it's uh, the beginning of CW stuff. Yep. CW's back this week. Uh, we got, we, I'm still behind though. We were just talking about. It. I'm, I'm. I haven't even watched yeah. Flash. So I watched Supergirl. I have watched Supergirl. I watched Supergirl and Gotham. Okay. Gotham was off the fucking hook, dude. Good. The fucking drone is back. Really? Yeah, okay. Man. Thought he crazy. was dead. His story is crazy. Um, I'm not sure the storyline the that the where the Joker has his face taken off. Yeah. So they're basically running with that that like storyline with the Joker. Oh, shit. That's from uh, some of the New 52 stuff with yeah. Uh, Batman. Yeah, because I know that the daughter of Joker takes his face and she's wearing it. Yep. So, it's, yeah, it's fucking, it's, it's really fucking good, man. That's good, man. I need so, to jump back on there or something. Since I've been playing uh, so many goddamn games lately. Oh, yeah. I've been on a telltale tear. Like, I finished Batman. Oh, yeah. That yep. ending, though, right? Holy shit. Man, I, I loved it. So, I didn't, just, I, actually, we should talk about it because we right. did a great yeah, review. Dude. Um, I didn't trust Vicky Vale from the jump. I really didn't. You know, what? I didn't either. Just I didn't trust her just the fact that she was a reporter. Well, yeah, as yeah. Bruce Wayne and Batman, though, I didn't talk to her. I didn't show her any love. I straight gave her the cold shoulder. So when it turned out, like spoilers on Batman Telltale, yeah. that she was like the main bad girl, a bad guy or gal. Um, I was like, yeah. Okay. It, it's funny when I did my review, I actually give. I did that spoiler. I actually said who that she's the bad person, but I actually cut it out. Good. It didn't, it didn't make the cut. I was like, you know what? Nah, it's too much of a fucking spoiler. I gotta yeah. make that shit out. So but it's been out. out for a while now. So. Yeah. But did you did you smash on Catwoman? I definitely smashed Selena, um, and I got uh, what was his name? Harvey. I think he turned at the very end, you know, because he he got that scar. But I played it as close to what I thought. Batman and Bruce Wayne would be like. Yeah, dude, that, that game is fucking stressful. Cause like, shit, what the fuck? Cause I didn't, I didn't, I actually saved uh, Harvey from the thing following. Selena got shot. Mm, yeah, yeah. And so that's um, what I did too. He never got the scar, but man, when he came into the fucking apartment and saw that I had smashed on Selena, he flipped he out. He flipped the fuck out. Oh, did you punch uh, Penguin? Yes, I knocked his ass out. Yeah, I, at that press conference or oh, before yeah. or before then in the office. I thought we actually made very similar decisions then, you know. But I thought that Bruce and I didn't torture Falcone. I didn't either. I just fucking threw him out the off the side or whatever, through the, and like put him on the hook. Or yeah, whatever. exactly. Yeah. I did the same thing because I was like, mm, Batman doesn't kill, yeah. unlike in Batman versus Superman. But I'm I'm thinking about going back though and like seeing what would happen. Yeah, fucking just go fucking all out. Yeah, man. That was that was one of the better uh, Telltale games, and I've played damn near all of them at yeah. this point. That one was excellent, and then the other one that was really, really good was the Borderlands one. That one's worth playing. Oh yeah, I never played that one, but all the fucking all the Borderlands um, games are good. Yep. And then what, what I want to do is I want to go back to Arkham Knight because I, I never finished it. I want to go back just because I got some DLCs that I haven't fucking played with. So, dude, there was a ton of when yeah, I looked back, there was like I don't know at least 50, 60 hours it looks like of DLC content for that yeah. game. So I know it's kind of an older game now, but I feel I feel like just getting the season pass, uh, maybe on a discount on PSN, loading yeah. it, and then just smashing through the whole thing. 
I know there, I think there's talks, talks of another Batman game coming out by Rockstar. I'm down. I mean, they're, they're good games. They have. Yeah. Weren't, they, they, weren't they making a Superman game too? I, know, I think last year we talked about it. We're like, no, nah, you can't. There is no way you make a good fucking Superman game. You know what? It could be done, but I don't think on Earth is the way to go. Yeah, you have to go to a different planet. You go to a different planet. You put like Apocalypse in there and some Lobo and some yeah. other real, real tough Somebody bad guys. Fucking bad Superman. Yeah, then I could, I could kind of, sort of see it. Yeah. You know, it'd be nice to have a resurgence. But you need to put the effort in, like Rocksteady has done, you know? Uh, and they still, still set the gold standard for comic book-based games, other than, like, the fighters like Capcom oh, yeah. and Justice or whatever. Uh, Marvel versus Capcom, rather. So, yeah, I mean, I'm all about it. And I still want the good Spider-Man game on PS4 next year or the year after that, whenever the hell it comes out. I can't wait for it. I always get that, like, the game looks so good that it, it confuses me with the movie. Yeah. Like, it, like it, every time I see it, I'm like, oh, shit, is this, part of, is this a trailer for the movie? It's like, no, this is the fucking game. Yep. So, yeah. Who, you know who makes, who's making the Spider-Man game? I think it's Sucker Punch, the same guy, a studio okay. that did uh, in, Infamous, if oh, I'm okay. not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Also, is it PlayStation exclusive then? Yes, I believe so. Oh, nice. Well, because remember, Sony owns Spider-Man. They're, oh, they're letting yeah, yeah. Marvel use him that's in true. their movies, but Sony owns the rights, so. Yeah, because I remember the PlayStation uh, emblem used to be the same font as the Spider-Man movies. Yep. Until exactly. they fucking changed it, which I thought was fucking dumb because it was awesome. But, it sure was. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I think uh, there's more opportunity for excellent crossovers with, you know, good comic book characters and games. I mean, yeah. Injustice 2 looks lit, you know? Yeah. I, my Like, I played the first one. I never really played against anybody. I just was played the storyline. Yeah. And then, like, that was it. Like, I never played it again. I think I played a few times, but it was rare for me to play it again. Same with Super Super Fighter Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, so I've I've been smashing through. I, I smashed through Batman. I smashed through. Uh, there was a a Minecraft game, and I'm not familiar with Minecraft at all. But it was a Telltale mm. version of it, and mm -hmm. it was kind of fun. You know, I could play with my kid and shit. And then a Game of Thrones game. Oh, nice. So I wonder. I want to say there's a there's like a there's a Lego. Telltale game or something like that. There's some something coming out for Telltale that I have to look up at. I can't remember what it was, but I think it was like something Batman, Superman related. They probably are doing that. I mean, they, they work well with everybody. Um, yeah. They are doing a Guardians of the Galaxy mm. later on this year, and I'm looking yeah. forward to that. Because, um, you know, the movies, the sequel's coming out, mm -hmm. and, you know, they got a good squad or whatever. They could do some fun stuff with those characters. Oh, with uh, Batman Telltale, did you, when you're in Arkham, did you like? Cause you know how the the Riddler or the Joker gives you like a key. Yeah. Did you fucking check everything to see if it opened anything? I think I did. Yeah, that shit was so funny because it didn't open a goddamn thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cause I, I I didn't check all of them, but I I checked one or two, and I was like, this ain't working for nothing. Yeah, he fucking makes funny for doing it too. Yeah. Fucking Joker, but that's fucking cool that he he was in the game and uh, there's definitely gonna be a goddamn sequel. Yeah, they set it up for a sequel. Yeah, perfectly. they set it up hugely for a sequel. Uh, which is which is fun, man. I mean. You know, a lot of people are shitting on, you know, the DC live-action films and the DCEU or whatever, but mm -hmm. it wasn't that long ago that we got the Nolan trilogy. Yeah, Which, true. you know, I thought was excellent. I thought they were good, too. You know, every, everybody did, oh, especially yeah. at that time. Come yeah. on, you know? Um, so, we shall see. A lot of good movies coming out later this year. Yeah, you know? the Lego Batman movie coming out. Watch. Dude, that's in February. I'm fucking excited about it. What's cool is that next week, uh, fucking Justice League Dark comes out, and uh, somebody posted up like a quick snippet of it with Batman versus the Green Lantern, like Black Green Lantern. Uh, what's his name? John Stewart. Yeah. Bat uh, Green Lantern, and they're fighting, and <laughs> you have to check it out and see who wins because it was fucking great. <laughs> yep. Well, uh, I think our buddy Matt from pre mm -hmm. mentioned that he, one way or another, got a chance to see it, and he loved the fuck out of it. So, I'm really excited. I mean, I, I love the DC uh, animated stuff oh, yeah. just as much as the comics and, and a lot of the movies even, but... I gotta look up this, this Teen Titan one that's coming out. That's gonna be the next one. Oh, okay. And I heard it's supposed to be, like, based off of, like, an epic Teen Titan comic. Oh, uh, Judas Contract. Yeah, Judas Contract. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's, that should be really, really fun, you yeah. know? I believe that one has Deathstroke in it, and uh, a lot of the stuff with, um, you know, the original Teen Titans uh, crew or whatever. So that's, yeah, I'm, I'm all about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
and I loved uh, Justice League versus Teen Titans. I oh yeah, that was, was really great good. Too. Yeah. So it, they're doing fun stuff. Um, now people either love or hate Damien. Yeah, um, well, he's fucking badass though. I, I fucking love him. Yeah. You know, fucking went toe to toe with fucking Robin or with Nightwing, Dick Grayson, he, fucked him up. <laughs> to me, he's the most interesting Robin. Yeah, and, I, and I, that's saying a lot given the history. He's more interesting than Batgirl by far. Oh yeah. Um, he has that whole dichotomy with like Ra's al Ghul and Talia and mm-hmm. being Bruce's actual yeah. son. And he and, fucking lets people know, like, I'm Bruce's son. Like, yeah. you're not his son, I'm his son. Well, and, and his whole relationship, even though they're not brothers, with like Nightwing and, and you know, uh, uh, Tim and, you mm-hmm. know. I like to see, because I know in the comics, like, there's the, with like the Robin Wars. Mm-hmm. That was really good because we got to see like all the Robins kind of work together. Yep. And it was just fucking cool to see them all together. Like, I hope there is an animated uh, movie that comes out with, with the Robins in it. That'd be fucking dope. Yeah, I think, uh, people hopefully are slowly starting to see that you know folks love robins you yeah. know what i mean and and tr- truth be told there's no reason why nightwing either live action or animated can't have his own series oh, yeah. as well oh yeah he's know? got he's got a smash on the uh, starfire Hell, yeah because <laughs> like that one scene where he's like skyping with her and he's oh, like, she, so like lays down he's like what <laughs> yeah in uh, justice league versus teen yeah, titans that was perfect that was man great. So, I mean, they got some real opportunities to do some fun stuff, you know, yeah, over in DC. And obviously, Marvel's doing it, doing their thing as well. You know, I'm actually going to ask this on a podcast tonight, but it seems like there's a lot of fucking comic book based TV shows and movies that are out right now. Yep. Because if you think about it, we got, like, Marvel's got Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., they got Luke Cage, uh, Jessica, Jones, Jessica Jones, Daredevil, Daredevil. we got Iron, uh, Fist. Iron Fist coming out. Uh, fucking. They got DC's got all the Flash, the Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, uh, Legend of Tomorrow, Lucifer, Gotham. <laughs> yep. God damn. It. You got Teen Titans Go. Yep. <laughs> oh, sorry. Eggplant. Golden Eggplant awarding. awarding. <laughs> there you go. Got to tell Teen Titans Go. In case you guys don't know, make sure to check out our Golden Eggplant Award episode where we give out the winners of the Golden Eggplant. Yep. Uh, that was fucking fun. I love doing that every fucking year. Yeah. Right? But yeah, there, there's a whole lot, and then obviously you got all of your good sci-fi stuff on right now. Yeah. The Expanse is back. There's just a lot of fun stuff going on, man. Yeah. It's man, it, I was fiending for shows over that like the holiday break. Yeah, but you know, Netflix filled in that gap. There's a lot of shows that Netflix had that were released, and people fucking watching them all fucking <laughs> in a day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, we talked about a few on on the air or on mm-hmm. the cast, but. Um, I, did, I didn't actually sit down and like really, really watch any mm. per se. I did more, more more of my gaming over the holidays and just kind of, you know, chilled or whatever. But man, it felt like forever yeah. since these shows came back on. Yeah. There ain't no doubt about it. Um, but yeah, I uh, I feel like I'm really looking for. Oh, I forgot to mention this on the air. I'm really looking forward to on Saturday. Oh, as yeah. much as we talk about anime, there is a Crunchyroll Awards party in San Francisco. I think Stitch is going. I think Professor Dankenstein is going. Blue can't go. Oh, I got possibilities. We'll see if some of the other guys from the Don't want to be on that cop's life. Yeah, I hear that. But I, I like, literally bought my fucking, or I got my ticket because it's a free event. Yep. Or it's actually, it costs $5, but if you're a premium member, it, you can get in for free. Yep. But uh, still, like, there's going to be, I think you get like two drink tickets. There's going to be like some snacks and like, you can interact with people. There's gonna be some games playing there. But yeah, I guess definitely gotta t- tell me how it goes. Yep. Get me an interview with the waifu, you know? Yeah, I guess you take the portable mic and like do a quick little podcast after. We'll try, yeah. Maybe if you run into some people, like try to get them over and talk to them. Exactly. I'm gonna give it a shot. So that's that's Saturday night. Yeah. And then we got SF Beer Week right around the corner as well. Yeah, that's what I got. So for, on the podcast tonight, I got I went to uh, Lagnitas last mm. Saturday. Um, yeah, I got a growler of this fucking really good beer to share on the cast. Nice. Oh, it's a, it's an Imperial Stout, wait, it's an Imperial Coffee Stout soaked in whiskey barrels. Ooh. Yeah, it's great, fucking, it, it tastes delicious. But the funny thing is that, like, it was good because I was drunk, so <laughs> I don't know how, how it's going to taste. <laughs> All right, we'll give it a shot. Yeah. But who's yeah. We, who's we got, the uh, uh, maker of it again? Uh, it's Lagunitas. Lagunitas. All yeah, right, yeah. That's good. And, um, yeah, we also got, um, the San Francisco, uh, beer, SF Beer Week 
we're going to opening gala. It's gonna be myself, Kronos, and you brought tickets, right? Yeah, I got a ticket. So. Yeah, I think Elmore got his and the um, Professor. Yeah, it should be every, it should be almost everybody. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fucking great. The whole fucking squad. It'll yeah, be good yeah. shit. Man. Drunk as fuck. Can we fucking five hours just drinking? Is there food there? Cause... Oh yeah, there's gonna be food. Okay, yeah, I'm about there's... to say. I think uh, I wonder if because sometimes some places they'll they'll have like free lunches for people mm. for the VIP people. Like you get a free lunch, so we'll see how it goes. Yep. All right, folks, rolling up here to the Infinity Base. Uh, if you like what you saw, make sure to to smash that like button down below. Um, if you also enjoyed the show, hit that subscribe button. Yep. Thanks everybody for helping us hit three thousand. We hit three thousand today. So yeah. Um, until next week, peace out.